stranded moon tardigrades, alive, dead, or dormant? An army of microscopic monsters may be crawling across the moon right now, and we put them there. When Israel's Bershit lander smashed into Mare Serenitatis on April 11, 2019, it scattered a payload from the nonprofit Arch Mission, millions of tardigrades, the eight-legged water bears famous for shrugging off boiling water, vacuum and heart radiation. Encased in epoxy flex smaller than rice, the creatures crash-landed at 9,000 km per hour, then lay baking under two weeks of lunar daylight. Tardigrades survive by curling into glassy ton cocoons, shutting down metabolism to near zero. On Earth they've revived after a decade in a freezer and endured particle accelerators that would pulp human DNA. That resilience inspired Arch Mission to test whether life could hitchhike between worlds, panspermia, but on purpose. Critics accused the team of reckless contamination, warning that future moon samples might host stowaways from 2019 instead of primordial organics. No probe has yet visited the crash site, so the fate of the moon bears is pure conjecture. If even a fraction survived, they could persist for centuries until a shadowed crater cools them enough to reawaken, alien life, yet unmistakably terrestrial. ESA's planned Heracles rover lists the debris field as a possible waypoint, promising the first verdict on whether Earth's toughest animal quietly claimed a new world.